Hey everyone, this is El Piero Nacho, and uh, this is my three-in-one farm and single cooker. Uh, if you check my channel, you'll see that I have the tutorials for two versions of this cooker. The first original version of it with a slight modification. You can also see that video on my channel. Uh, allows us to do chickens and not damage our drops. So I will just quickly demonstrate and then we can get onto the tutorial. So we can call pigs, let's call some chickens, and some cows. Let's just call everything I guess, do it all at once. Uh, whilst we wait for these guys to fall down, let's show you. It's just uh, three farms up there over some water streams controlled by a single piston gate that basically removes the grass in the corner of the room and lets the mobs bring themselves down into the wash chamber to bring them gently down here to us. I say gently. This one's actually one higher in the tutorial. It will be one block shorter, uh, so a little bit more compact. <laughs> so yeah, uh, whatever. A load of these guys are going to get nuked anyway. Let's just get on with it and then we can show you the tutorial. So here we have everything dying. Oh no! But look, we didn't need to put out any fires. There's our uh, roast chicken, cooked pork, and steak. So yeah, if you'd like to build this, then uh, hold tight. Welcome back. So uh, let's build the multi farm and cooker. So let's start with the cooking chamber, I guess. Uh, seems like it's a good place as any. Jeez, I can't believe I didn't uh, prepare. This is shocking. Shocking. So yeah, the tutorials for these are uh, up, but obviously I'm going to build it anyway because it's part of this device. So uh, these three will be on maximum delay. We can connect this all up and stick your block. Okay, and now let's chuck in our lava. Chuck in some lava, and uh, that should be that. Yep. So now we need to add the piston uh, to give us the capability to do, obviously, uh, smaller block mobs and also to do chickens. Okay, so. Left that like so. Sorry, I dug that out a bit chaotically. You're gonna have a torch there and there, and then off of here we take this out like so. Put a repeater maximum, maximum redstone dust here to come back around the corner, and uh, that like so. And this will be your sticky piston. And now you have the ability to do the chickens. That's the cooker part. Now the next step is obviously to make a drop off point into that. So we want to come up one above it, like this. Let's just seal it off. And then we're going to have uh, blocks on each corner. Because now from here we're going back, going out eight. So there's the front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's going to be for our water flow. Whoops, a little bit laggy. Okay, and again. system uh, to the all-in-one grill anyway, but I like this because if you don't already have a farm or all-in-one farm, I think this is pretty neat. I'm sure someone like uh, Ethos or one of those crazy redstoners would make something much more advanced, but uh, I'm a noob and this is <laughs> how I opted to do it. So, we've done that. I will just take a quick break here and we'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing to do will be to place our pistons uh, that will retract and uh, 
allow the corner of the room to drop away. So, um, yeah, we will want a two pi wall around the front of this stream. Uh, this is going to come up anyway, and we will have. The block here will be dirt because that will be retracted by the piston. So that will become uh, the corner. And we're going to come out four. One, two, three, four. wall here to separate them all. Checking on the pigs you can see the chickens but uh, I'll look at that afterwards that's minor details. So that's the first room. Now we need to link up this piston and we will do that by sending power up. Obviously you can rig the uh, system up however you'd like. That's your call. I don't know why I placed a block there, don't ask. <laughs> okay, so that will now have grabbed that corner and uh, obviously if we're gonna send a signal to that, it will retract and drop them down into here. So let's fill this in. Go and that's room one. So we're going to mirror that exactly on the other side. So again, we place the block, the piston. You're going to have your dirt up here because this will be the corner. We can come up four, one, two, three, four, and it's actually by seven. Uh, I marked these out just so that I didn't have to faff around in the tutorial I was trying to show you. Okay, so that's two sides rigged up, and there's two rooms now. Do exactly the same here, except this time the room uh, pretty much you can make it whatever dimensions you like, really. I just Made it fit. <laughs> Just make it fit. That's all that matters, really. So obviously this back bit has to be like so anyway. Um, so you can make it long or whatever, but I do recommend trying to keep the corner as the area that retracts because uh, it just seems to help ping them out. So. Uh, yeah, I'd probably build it out like so. I believe it was similar kind of dimensions to that that I've done it. Two, three, four by three. And uh, obviously we need to go below and just fill the gaps for the stream. Not any gaps in there. Obviously, we can leave this open, that's fine. Uh, here we go. So, last little touches to make sure that none of the buggers can get out. And we are. Might as well seal it up. Uh, just need to send power up to this one. So. Let's 
see that now. Okay, that should now be retracting the corner from that room if we knock it out. And that will drop them in. Uh, obviously, it's getting dark. Let's fix that. And I like to make sure this is all. Yep. Okay, so if I'm trying to get it back that way. Okay, and that's that. So you now have your three rooms. All that's left to do is to wire up the buttons. So I'll be right back. Well, I guess we should uh, go ahead and wire it up now. So let's add our three room buttons, uh, room selector buttons. We'll do this one at a time. So here is the first one. We block with a repeater. This is just so we don't interfere with this little circuit here. Um, and you're going to do that for long. Just like so, torch at the end, dig that out. Now we operating our. Yep, I'm pretty sure you saw that. So now we're going to just do the same thing and link the other pistons up. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we want to put a block against the wall here with a repeater on it. I am losing the plot today. Severely losing the plot. Okay, uh, let's change this. Let's put another repeater in there because we actually need to have another block there. Sorry about that. Being a noob. Okay, use a torch to drop our power. Whoops. Whoops. Idiot. Serious uh, retardation today. So that is it, the most basic. It's not been made to look pretty or nice but uh, that's it obviously you can decorate it make the rooms uh, different sizes not bother with the chicken area at the back that would kind of cut a load of the size down and make it a load uh, thinner because it would need that whole last bit there yeah I hope you find it useful I hope someone tries to build it I hope my tutorial wasn't too painful for you to watch bye